So following the latest video blog about the complexities of software programming, um, today's a pretty uh, crappy day. So I'm working inside and uh, doing some work here and this is going to give us a great opportunity to see you know what's happening behind the scenes you know in the office of app dev and sidewalker what are you working on today greg uh, right now we're just busy setting up uh, subscriber accounts uh, so we're looking through different accounts just to make sure they have a basic profile and if they don't have at least some information that's relevant to the viewers we'll at least throw that up for them you know nothing that they wouldn't expect just things like their, lo their location or phone number and whatnot. Um, we're also just trying to make it a little bit easier for some of the clients and stuff too to make their profiles a bit more functional. Um, so one of the ways we're doing that is if they throw up um, a link to their website on their subscriber page or if they just uh, put up the location to their uh, business, uh, we're actually making it so that the, the app or the browser, depending on where you're looking at the Sidewalker, um, it'll actually make the link or the map location that you put down, it'll make it a link and so you can actually just click on it and it will go to that automatically for you. So we're trying to take some of the legwork out of it for the clients so that they can easily just uh, <coughs> have uh, different functionality on their page that they wouldn't otherwise have unless they had some familiarity with different coding languages like HTML and whatnot. Um, so uh, from a programming standpoint that actually kind of makes things a bit more complicated because um, although we don't expect any of our clients to know HTML coding, we have to kind of then put in scripts so that they can then, um, so that we can then detect if they have put in a link or not, and we have to then kind of do some mind reading, so to speak, so to actually to see if, for instance, if they put down the letters HTTP slash and slash slash, etc., um, which is what typically starts off the path for a link. Um, we'll know, oh, okay, they're likely to be putting up a link on their profile, and so we have to actually put in some functionality to detect that they have put in this link and that they're intending for the visitor to click on it and go to a different page. So um, we're busy doing different things like that, and it's actually going around pretty well um, for the moment, but that's kind of what we're doing at the, uh, right now. Greg was talking a little bit about, you know, the making things easier for the subscribers and the clients, and What's what's happening on the end of the well, software you, engineering? Yeah, so let me tell you uh, what was something that was just brought to light is um, some of the email addresses. The uh, you know they some of the we do an auto detect on the email addresses if you put one in. You don't have to put a link around it, just like Greg was saying. And uh, well, we discovered a defect, and that defect is is that if your email address ends in um, uh, a dot on dot ca that it, it doesn't quite do that uh, detection properly and we we want to make sure that the code detects the entire email address and doesn't just chop it off after the on so I was just taking a look at that right now and um, what uh, I'll try to do is is add the code snippet at the bottom of, of what it is that uh, we're looking at so I'm just in the middle of testing that and let me see if I can bring that up and show you what that looks like. So this is the, the email address issue um, right here. You can see um, you can see on fourth line theater the code right now just detects this dot on and it, 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 it doesn't see the dot ca. So let me show you uh, what that code is. Uh, you know partly to impress and partly to scare. but. Uh, also for a bit of humor. So this is what the current code is uh, in Sidewalker in order to detect and replace that email address with actual code and just do that automatically for you so you don't have to worry about it. So I've detected that the problem is right here. This bit of code needs to go in here and we need to, in addition to that, also have this bit of code at the end. And that should solve our problem for us. So I'm going to save that file and go back into Fourth Line Theater and just refresh this. So I'm just going to refresh. I'm going to search for four. Oh, there it is, Fourth Line Theater. And we can see that that change of code fixed that problem. And there we go. We're going to submit that to the build, and uh, our users are going to have that the next time that they update their app. Okay. Well, thanks.